In this video, I'm going to be talking about a power tool battery that is very special and is very useful for powering uh, electric bike, electric scooter, and also UPS power supply. So what I have here is a 40 volt lithium ion power tool battery. This is a lawn and garden tool and I use it with my 40 volts uh, cordless blower. So basically this battery is just a regular 40 volts lithium ion power tool battery. But the difference here is that it's got Anderson connectors. And Anderson connectors are very universal and we use these a lot in electric bike and electric scooters. So as you can see on this connector we got four small Anderson connectors and the terminal is positive is on the right side and negative is on the left side and this is unlike any other power tool battery I've ever seen before usually um, a power tool battery like this one here is a Ryobi 40 volts power tool battery um, the connector will go straight to the, the tool and every manufacturer will make a different set of connectors and it's never universal unlike this one here which is a universal connector and this is the charger for the battery you can see there's got Anderson connectors and that will go to the battery like so what I usually use for my electric bike and electric scooter are these but uh, the connectors here are very specific to this manufacturer which is cobalt so I have to modify this so that I can get a universal connector so I can use on my electric sco scooter I will plug in here like so and use this to plug in my electric scooter but this battery is different it's got Anderson connectors so I can use my Anderson connectors here a couple of Anderson connectors and it goes to my UPS power supply right there so let me demonstrate here I've got my 36 volt UPS power supply and um, you've got lead acid battery but I already removed the battery so I have my terminal connection out here and connect to my Anderson connector and I'm going to connect to this battery and power it on so this is the back of the unit where the battery goes so it just hooked up the wire and goes out to the outside and now we can hook it up to the battery so here we go we got the terminal on the batteries so we just have to hook it up to the black and the red terminal which is marked positive and negative All right. that's that it's in now let's try and turn this on so now let's turn it on. Okay. There we go. Let's see, it's beeping because it's running on battery power. So I'm just gonna have to press this button here. You can hear that beep. Press this button. We mute the beep. So right now. It's producing AC voltage, 120 volts on the back here. You can hear it humming, so it's working. Now let's test to see if it works. I've got my uh, Ryobi tool here, and it's an AC tool. Just gonna plug it in the back of the unit here. By the way, the this UPS is a thousand watts, so should be able to run this tool. Okay. 
So there you go, how to use a Husqvarna power tool battery to run a corded Ryobi power tool. So power tools like this are very useful for high drain power device like this UPS power supply here and especially for electric bike and electric scooter. A lot of them use Anderson connectors and all you have to do is just plug in your Anderson connectors and you're good to go. You don't have to make any special adapters or anything like that. So it's very convenient. I'm going to turn it off here. There you go. Off. And let's unplug this. That is pretty cool battery. The only downside I can think of is that this battery is ready at 40 volts. The nominal voltage is 36 volts, so it can only be used for 36 volt power devices or 72 volts. If you have two of these and connect them in series. So there you have it folks, a very cool power tool battery and it's got this Anderson connector and I thought that it would be very useful and a lot of you guys might find this helpful to run your electric scooter or electric bike or even uh, UPS power supplies. And this connector is the first that I've ever seen in a power tool battery uh, unlike many other power tool batteries. And I hope you find this helpful. See you later.